Right, folks. It's a good job I never carried on pursuing that road. I think it would have taken me back onto a big main road. It was good that I turned back and that I saw the greenway sign coming up, up here, up this bridle path. You see that big hill there? That's all Will's neck area and the trig point, okay? The quarry bit goes up through a road there and I'm going up on safe ground now. I'm not going to do any, too much exploring. It is exploring though. Um, Great and Marrow Hills Triscum. So, the sun's starting to come out. I'm drying out slowly. Look at that little cottage of the smoke coming out. They've probably got an Argo, you see. Because it's not cold, but I expect they do their cooking on it. What a lovely English scene that is. Look at that lovely hill. Which I was up. And of course I saw other ways that you can get up it. No, I've made the right decision, I think. I didn't... I had thought about wandering off up that real lane and going to, um... towards West Bagborough, but... No, I'm going to follow this track now. I'm going to follow this track and we'll be back on the Macmillan Way, everyone. And then we can do Paradise Combe. And what happens with me... When I was younger, yeah, I would fit everything in. You know, now, no. Enjoy, and you can do some another day. She said it's quite steep, and I believe her. I remember how steep the quarry road was. I probably will just keep on this path. I'll tell you why. Because I've already experienced one lot of wet feet. Uh, if I start ploughing off and going up through ferns and things, even though that might be a beautiful route, do you know what I mean? Uh, it could be a beautiful route for all I know. I'm going to just, I'm going to plod up here. Nice and steady. Yeah, it's lovely. And I said I won't look at my watch till I'm further up. I won't look at my watch. Now what I think, do you know what I was thinking might happen in a minute? Coming this way. I'll end up on that quarry road. I just have that feeling. I'm going to take my jumper off very soon. I've just realised I'm getting hot and I haven't had my chocolate yet. <sighs> but I know I'm doing a hill. You can feel it pulling on your chest. You can feel the bag weighing you down, pulling you down. <sighs> but this is all new, folks. That's why I'm doing a bit of extra... Recording. <sighs> Bit of extra recording. I'm going to stop under this tree. I'm going to have my bar of chocolate. I'm going to take my bag off and give it a bit of a readjustment. <sighs> I'm going to keep on climbing up. Okay, over and out for now. Right then, I'm, I'm climbing the, what's called the Great Marrow at Triscum. Over there, actually I can see the cows and they could be the big horn ones, but they're in the trees that See? See those shapes? They're cows. And they're over there, so I won't be going near them. They like it over there, actually. This must be the Great Barrow, that's the smaller barrow. There's 
Will's Neck. There's the quarry beyond it, Triscum Quarry. I've just come up this comb here. Before I came up the other comb where the, where the quarry is. So I've now explored for the first time up this way. Um, I'm now heading up. This is um, Great Marrow. And uh, I do hope to avoid the cows really. I don't think they're going to wander off that quick. They're all over there. So that's one good thing. The young man that I met earlier, he's right up there. The young man I met with two dogs. He's getting, he's climbing to the top and then there's a woman following as well. But all the cows are down there. I'm just going to turn off a minute and take a picture. Right folks, there's the drove and the avenue of trees leading to Triscombe Stone right down there. There's Longwood and the big tall trees over there. Triscombe Quarry. Will's Neck. This is Marrow Hill. This is the bigger of the Marrow Hills. That's the smaller one there. This is the big one, which I've decided to walk round. Although the top is only there, but I'm not going to... If there's a path in a minute going up, I'll go up it. I just want to walk round it, actually. Yeah, I'm glad I made the decision to come up here. Because some of these lower down things and whatever, I can do another time. Now we've done both sides of the marrows. Um, yeah. We've done both sides, that's good. It's nice just to walk on a decent track for a minute as well and dry the feet out. It's still a good time of year, you see. We've got all the heather and the gorse mixed. A lot of gorse here. So this is Sheila on the 15th of September 2021. The boy's coming with the dogs again. Where's he going down? Oh, he's going down now. He's going down, I'm going round. He knows what he's doing. He might live in that village down there. He might live in that village. Look over to the quarry, look. See it? Part of that quarry was used to build Heathrow Airport, by the way. The runway at Heathrow Airport. I think I mentioned it once before. Just in case I didn't go around, it's nice to actually go around. Do a swoop round it, then head for Crocombe and back. Right, I said you were allowed to look at your watch once you got to near the top. That is the top, by the way, that is the top there. And you'll be really happy to know, Sheila, it's not half past one, it's not half past twelve. It's half past eleven. Oh, I can see somebody over there on the hill. They're in camouflage. Where are they? There. Somebody's sitting there on the picnic. He was something on him was shining. That's how I picked him out. Yeah, I think the boy went that way. We're going to go up here. We're going to go on the top of Marrow Hill. This, this place that you're looking at now, everyone, this was um, where many battles in the 800-something century, Saxon armies marched here, camped here, King Alfred the Great was supposed to have come through this way. And I've even heard that Joseph of Arimathea, who seems to get everywhere, came on part of the route here. I don't know, you don't know what to believe with that, because he certainly was... Right, somebody coming, what's your name? Know? 
Right, back on again. Ah, just said hello to a gentleman. Enjoying his walk, this dog. Somebody having a picnic right over there. And I was just saying, um, this land here, back in 880 odd years, the Saxon armies were here. I'm not sure about the Vikings, but the Saxons had very quite a few battles. And the Britons as well, I believe. I expect archaeology's found stuff. <sighs> yeah, it's, just, uh, it's also an ancient barrow. All these hills around here are like barrows. You know, look at the sun coming out now. That sun was good to me when I was climbing up that coom, wasn't it? It let me get up before I got too hot. I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, now from up here, we can look across at all the hills. Hurley Beacon there. We can follow it all over now. We, we did the drove three weeks ago. We went through the woods, through the drove. Um, I just need to climb up on the top, which I know I've done before. I know I've been up here before. But I'll be going all the way over there. Um, yeah, in the very, 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 very far distance, that's Beacon Hill, I believe. It might be Thorncombe Hill. I'm glad I never took that roadway now. That's Triscombe back there. That could be Crocombe. Yeah, it would have been... No, I'm glad I didn't do it. I'm glad I've come this way. But let's just get to the top, everyone. This is Sheila on top of the big Marrow Hill. I've been on it before. This is an ancient burial mound. Uh, lasted well, really, considering it's probably 3,000 years old. It isn't just the Saxons that up here, I spent the Iron Age and everybody else. There we are, there's the stones. I have been here. It might not have been on that Triscum walk, uh, but it'll be on one of the others that I've done. Yeah, it'll be, on, it'll be on one of the others. My chest is just feeling a bit tight. Here's the top of the Marrow Hill. Not as high as Will's Neck over there. I would take a couple of stones, and I've done it probably before. And put on the corn on the top. I'm gonna place these on the top. I would have done it before. This gets knocked down and put up again all the time. It's not a permanent monument. This little circle of stones, no. I'm going to put mine on top of that one. That's for my family, my children, my grandchildren, family and friends and others. This is for my sister Jude. And my mum and my dad. The, a bigger one is for family. It's also for all the people I've known that have passed. Now I can actually see see somebody coming in the distance. Somebody with a map. Somebody who's probably parked over there. Alright, so here's a beautiful view. I want to get away before they get too close. Um, I mean, you can never tell who people are, can you? Right, over and out. <sighs>